you see, these traditions are all so complex and they've grown so much. Um, we know very little about what Jesus was doing or saying. Um, we have it. We have the gospel stories uh, that show he could get quite uh, cross. Uh, he w could utter terrifying words against the scribes and the Pharisees, for example, uh, hypocrites, etc. Um, and um, in his, he goes into the temple and causes a violent demonstration there, which probably brought him his death. Uh, so he was not some, we often sentimentalize Jesus and uh, depict him with a lamb tucked under one arm and patting a child on the head with the other. Uh, but the gospel story is a frightening story. He is surrounded by people who are suffering and screaming in pain. At the end of the first chapter of Mark's gospel, he can't leave the town uh, because everybody from the surrounding districts who are sick or mentally deranged or suffering from uh, overtaxation and poverty and injustice have thronged to him. And, and it's a story of people struggling with oppression. Uh, and Jesus is uh, killed by a Roman governor. Um, and so, and the first Christians are persecuted. And then you come to Constantine and then religion becomes an a complete turnaround. Christianity then is sucked into the ethos of imperial control. Uh, and that has been, uh, so a, a tradition isn't just one pure thing. Uh, there's a movement away from this in uh, academic work. Uh, it's called an essentialist approach. You know, Christianity is essentially all about peace. The way the tradition has grown and developed, it's like human beings. We're a mixture of all these things. Um, and you, you have that in, that in every tradition. Uh, certainly there have been outstanding people uh, who have, have stood out against violence. Uh, but others have, have been, uh, just as Jesus was sometimes, really rough uh, and, 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 and an alarming figure. I think many Christians would be pretty alarmed if Jesus came back. Um, I, I often wonder what he'd say if I showed him around the Vatican, for example. This was not what he had in mind, but that is now part of Christianity. So I think we have to look at these traditions that grow and morph. And if they didn't grow and morph, they'd die uh, because they have to adapt and go to, into different situations. We're living in an entirely different world now from first century Galilee.